All right, so in this video we're going to look at finding the vertex focus and directrix of the parabola and we'll, you know, make a quick little sketch of it too. Uh, so what I've got here, an equation of the parabola with focus 0p and directrix y equals negative p is x squared equals 4py. And then if we interchange x and y, we have y squared equals 4px, which is an equation of the parabola with focus p0 and directrix x equal negative p. Now, these, these little formulas here, this p0, 0p, y equals negative p, x equals negative p, that's nice and everything. But don't, don't pay attention to that. Don't memorize that. Okay? And also, the equation of a parabola, it's this x squared equals 4py, that's a parabola that's going to either open up or down based on what p is. If p is positive, it'll open up. If p is negative, it'll open down. And then this one, y squared equals 4px, this is a parabola that's going to either open left or right. If p is positive, it's going to open to the right. If p is negative, it's going to open to the left. And these are parabolas where, where the vertex is at 0, 0. But what you've got to learn is there's this, this uh, form here. We've got x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. And we've got y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. So this right here, it's, you know, it's kind of the same. It's just a little bit different form. The, what you see here is if we have parabolas like this, it's still the same. This is going to open up or down based on if p is positive or negative. This one's going to open left or right based on if p is positive or negative. But uh, the vertex is hk. So that would be your vertex is hk. Okay. And as far as getting the, the coordinates for the focus and then the equation of the line for the directrix, we're going to draw it out and and do it based on that and it's going I think it's going to make it a lot easier the uh, I've got four videos to do on this and these are the videos these are the problems I'm going to work in the videos so these two will be video number one this one will be video number two this one video number three and this one video number four. So this one is these two the parabola will open up. Uh, this one it will open down. This one the parabola will open to the right and this one it will open to the left. So just check which ones you need and you can see we'll actually be converting you know from this form to this form that we have here. So you know watch them all. I try to hit everything you'll come across. So let's go ahead and get to the examples. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, example. Well, let's look at the first one, part A. We got two problems: find the vertex, focus, and directrix of the parabola. So first, we've got here we've got three x squared plus eight y equals equals zero. Okay. Well, we want to get it in in the form that we recognize, like at the like at the first of the video. So see, we've got the the x is squared. So we could write this in the form x squared equals what four p times y, right? All right. So to do that, we'll have to solve this for x squared. So when we do that, we get three x squared is equal to negative eight y. So x squared is negative 8 thirds times y. Okay. All right. Now, we need to figure out what our vertex is. We need p because that's going to help us find the focus and the directrix. All right. So, well, right off, we know the vertex is 0, 0. Okay. That is just in this form. All right, so now let's get P. Well, the number in front of Y is 4P. 
So that means 4p is equal to this number, negative 8 thirds. So if we have 4p is equal to negative 8 thirds, well, we do what? Multiply by 1 fourth. So we get p equals negative 2 thirds. So that's p. p is negative. So that tells us this parabola opens downward. Okay. So let's go ahead and kind of draw what we've got here. So we know the vertex is 0, 0. We know the parabola opens downward. Okay, so there's your parabola. All right, so now I need the focus. Well, the focus is what? It's about right in there. And the directrix would be a horizontal line back here. Okay, well, Let's get the let's get the coordinates of the focus first. All right. So I know that this distance here is what? Well, this distance is the absolute value of p, and the absolute value of p is is the absolute value of negative two thirds, which is positive two thirds. So I know that distance is two thirds, and the distance here from the vertex to this line, that's two-thirds also. Okay, P is negative two-thirds, but what we're concerned about, what we want to know is the distance from the vertex to the focus and the vertex to the directrix. And remember, when you talk about distance, the distance from something, that's absolute value. So we use the positive value for that. Okay, Now, the focus let me get back into the this color. The focus, well, we just need the coordinates of this point. Well, the x coordinate, that's easy to see, that's zero. And then the y coordinate, well, we did what? We came down two thirds of a unit. So that means it would be what? From zero coming down two thirds, that would be negative two thirds. That would be the coordinates of the focus. And then the directrix, well, it's a horizontal line, so it's the line y equals, well, where's that line, what what y is that line going through? Well, from zero we go up two thirds, so this y is actually two thirds, so that's the line y equals two thirds. And then, and so, there's your vertex, your focus, and your directrix. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. We'll have to actually convert that into the form we need. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Well, here we see that the the x term is squared. Well, we got an x term that's not squared, and but none. Well, we only have one y term, and it's not squared. So this, this tells me this one is going to be in this form x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Okay, that's, that's the form it's going to be in. So what I need to do here is I need to go ahead and let's get the y term to the other side. And let's, let's see what happens. So I've got 2x squared plus 12x. I'm going to write the x squared term first. And and let's leave us a little, well, we'll leave a space, but we don't have to worry about leaving it right now. So we got negative y equals, I'm sorry, negative y plus 16. So you can probably figure out what we're going to do. We're going to complete the square. Okay. But remember, to complete the square, you can't complete the square if you got a number in front of your x squared term. That number has to be a 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor that 2 out, and that leaves us with x squared plus 6x, and I'll leave a little space here, equals negative y plus 16. 
All right, so to complete the square, we take the number in front of x and we half it. That gives us 3, and then we square it. That gives us 9, so we add 9. And since we added 9 in here, we need to come out here and subtract 18. Now, why did I subtract 18? Well, I subtracted 18 because, yes, I added 9 in here, but what is that actually? That's 2 times 9 is 18, so I, it's like I added 18 over here, so I have to come over here and subtract 18. All right, so now this gives us 2 times x plus 3 squared, that factors, remember that, equals negative y minus 2. Now, I'm trying to get it in this form here, so I don't want a number in front of this part here, so I need to multiply everything by a half, so that's going to give me x plus 3 squared equals 1 half times negative y minus 2. All right. And then the other thing we know is that the the y in here is positive, it's not negative, so I'm going to factor out a negative 1, so that gives me x plus 3 squared equals negative 1 half times y plus, plus 2. And so here's my equation put into this form. Okay. I'm going to erase this and rewrite it up here, but I'll pause the video while I do it. All right, so here we have it rewritten. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can get our vertex real quick. It's HK, so that's going to be negative 3, negative 2. There's my vertex. Uh, now we got to get the focus and the directrix. Well, to do that, we need to know what P is. So P, well, that's the number in front of this y minus k, which in this case is negative one half. So I know 4P equals negative one half. And if I multiply everything by one fourth, I get P equals negative one eighth. Okay. Now let's come over here and just make a quick little sketch. So I've got Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I've got negative three, negative two. That's my vertex, okay? That's my vertex. Now, I know that this parabola opens downward because P is negative, so I know it's gonna look like this, okay? And so now I need my, and I don't, I'm going to erase these tick marks because I don't, I don't want to mark off eighths of a unit. So we'll just erase it and we'll know that this down to here is negative two and we'll know that this is x is negative three. All right. So my focus is going to be right around in here somewhere and my directrix well, it's going to be somewhere through here. There's my directrix. Okay. All right. So we've got the vertex already. That's this. So now I need the focus, the coordinates of the focus, and I need the equation of the line for the, for the directrix. Okay. All right. So, well, to get that, I need this distance and I need this distance. Well, P is negative 8. So, you know, don't worry about those formulas. Well, when it's like this, I add to uh, K or I subtract from K, all that mess. So what, what we want to do here is let's get the absolute value of P, which we know that's positive 1 8. So I know the distance from here to here is 1 8. And I know the distance from here to here is one eighth, right? So for my focus, that point is going to be the point. Well, x is what? Negative 3. So that's negative 3. And now I need my y coordinate. I'm, I'm sorry, my y coordinate. So how am I going to do that? 
Well, I know here I'm at negative 2, right? And so what do I have to do to get from here to here? Well, this is going to be negative 2. Now, think of it this way. If I did negative 2 plus 1, which way would that take me? That would take me this way, wouldn't it? Negative 2 plus 1, we would go this way. What if I did negative 2 minus 1? That would take me down, wouldn't it? So I need to do negative 2 minus 1 8. See, you don't have to memorize all this stuff. Just, just use the stuff you know about math, just little common sense things. And so now this is going to be what? That's uh, negative 16, so that's going to be negative 17 over 8. Okay, so that would be the coordinate for my focus. So that's negative 17 over 8. Now let's change it back to blue. Negative 17 over 8. And then I need the equation of my directrix. Well, that's this line. So I got to go one eighth of a unit up, right? So if we're going up, we're going to what? We're going to add the one eighth. So if I do negative two plus one eighth, right? Think of it just like I explained how we subtracted one eighth here. And so let's see, that's negative 16. That's what? Negative 15 over eight. And so this would be the line horizontal line so it's y equals y equals negative 15 over 8 and so there's the focus and the directrix and so I hope this video helped uh, check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching